A few days ago I said in a video that I wasn't going to get Bioshock Infinite because it was too expensive. Well, wait. I caved, and I'd say definitely worth the 60 bucks, an awesome experience. I mean, I haven't finished it yet, so I haven't gotten the full, you know, infinite <laughs> experience. But for me personally, it's a lot more enjoyable than the first Bioshock. You see, while this is a very fun action-adventure game that takes place mostly in the sunshine, the first Bioshock game is very much more survival horror oriented and takes place in very dark corridors underwater. And you know what? I like sunshine. I don't like horror games. It always aggravates me when people say I don't like horror movies or I don't watch horror movies because then I'm just like, ugh, why are you eliminating an awesome entire genre from your collection? Because I watch horror movies all the time. I love it. And whenever someone says that they don't watch horror movies ever, I just feel like they're missing out. At this point in my life, there's only like one or two horror movies that will actually make me lose sleep. However, when it comes to survival horror or horror video games, I just can't handle it. I fall apart. See, because there's no danger that I actually have to deal with, I can just sit in front of a TV and watch a horror movie and be absolutely fine. As long as there's a disconnect between me and whatever terrifying thing is happening on screen, I'm fine. But in a horror video game, it's not actors and characters on screen, it's you. And so whenever something terrible or horrifying happens, you have to fix it and you have to deal with it. Like I said, I could watch some teenage girl walk down a dark hallway with a monster at the end, no problem. But if it's me walking down that dark hallway, I can't I can't handle it! And a lot of gamers must feel the same way that I do, because in the past couple years I've seen more than one horror franchise go completely action. And for the most part, that path that a lot of horror franchises are taking into the more action-y genre has been receiving a lot of negative, you know, stuff. But not this one. Maybe it's just because everybody's pooping their pants over this as an action game, but, you know, Resident Evil and Dead Space have all gone super action in the last couple of years, and people have been pissed. Man, Resident Evil 6 sucks. Do they even remember the roots of the series? Man, Dead Space 3 sucks. It's not even scary. For the record, I think Dead Space 3 is the best of the Dead Spaces. -ses. So I guess you could say that Bioshock has abandoned its roots as well, or at least its original genre. And I, for one, like all my fun new action games, but I'm not really qualified to talk about this because I'm one of those ignorant fools who does doesn't like horror games. So, on that note, I'll see you tomorrow. Blah, blah, blah.